It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make a help meet for him. Don't forget the man that God had formed. It said the man whom God formed, he placed him in Eden. The man whom God formed, he placed him in Eden. He placed Adam in Eden, the man that he had formed, the man that he had given a place, the man that he had given a job, the man that he had given boundaries. And so now he looks and he said, it is not good for the man. So single people, uh, especially single fellows, they try to beat you up because uh, you know the Bible says you got to be with somebody. The Bible says it ain't good for a man. It didn't say a man. It said the man. And there was only one man. Only one man that he had formed. So how are you going to be talking about you? Or me? Come on, say amen, somebody. When we weren't there, he had one man, and he says it's not good for that man, Adam, to be alone. So God says, where I'm going to do it, I will make a help meet for him. So now check it out. God saw that it wasn't good for him to be alone. God said, since it ain't good, I will. Now, Adam, you go out there, and I'm, I'm going to throw about four or five out there, and you go out there and see which one, you know, you know, you know, baby got back, you know, must be jelly called Jim. Don't sit. Come on, say man, all, all that crazy stuff. No, 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 no. Because I want y'all, don't miss this. Don't miss this. God makes a declaration and a decision, but he does not activate the provision of his decision yet. Boy, I tell you, this, if y'all don't say man, preach, pastor. He makes a declaration decision, but he doesn't make the provision yet. And so while God said, I'm going to take care of it, Adam kept working. <clears throat> because right then, God was having Adam name the animals. So Adam said, and so you got to understand that the Bible talks about in our single season, we should be concerning ourselves with the affairs of the Lord. So in your single season, you should be so busy doing what you need to grow as a person, reading your Bible, going to your Bible study, praying to God, looking out. That's the problem. we all over the place. I wish I had some help. You have a role in the single season because you are more valuable to the kingdom as a single than you are as married. Because, see, when you married, Reverend got Monica. That's his ministry. That he, you know, he got to take care of Monica. Because if he don't take care of Monica, we don't get these three beautiful girls. So you got to understand, if we are busy, you know, when, uh, uh, you know, when, uh, you know, Boaz was out there looking, I mean, Ruth wasn't out there dropping on the floor. She wasn't bagging that thing up. She wasn't butt naked. Come on, say amen, somebody. Understand, do not take the Bible out of context. I know the last thing that happened in Genesis chapter 2, the last verse, it said they were both naked and they were ashamed. But you got to understand, do not use that scripture. That is not talking that you should be naked. That's saying that they were naked and they were not ashamed because they hadn't sinned yet. And before they hadn't sinned yet, then but naked was who they were. And they weren't looking at each other in lust. They were looking at each other in love. Now, after they sinned. They realized they was, come on, say, that's the Bible. After, look at the last verse in chapter 2. They were naked. Can you believe that's naked? Don't even, don't even know you're naked. Just naked, walking around naked. Going all over the heart. I mean, okay, I'm trying to. <laughs> Some of y'all got a picture right there. Man, you know, watch the, come on, say it, man, somebody. Just walking around. Just walking around. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad they went to clothes because, you know, when I was 21, I wouldn't have a problem walking around the garden because I had a six-pack. Come on, say amen, somebody. But uh, I don't want to be walking around the garden naked. Right? Y'all ain't going to help me. I ain't the only one up in here. Say, Lord, I don't want to be around naked now. And tell somebody, I don't want to see you naked now. <laughs> Boy, y'all a hard crowd. Say amen, somebody. But come on back this way because some of y'all still naked. Come on. They put clothes on. They put, they put clothes on. And you want to find out. I'm telling you, this series is going to be so awesome. It's going to talk about dating and the traps and all that stuff. But it's going to be talking about God's way. So then God said, I will make the help me. And before he gave the provision, Adam stayed busy. If nobody else is running crazy for the kingdom, single people, that's where we ought to be. I can understand, Reverend, say, I can't make nothing but church one hour. Because, man, I got to get home. Because y'all know, boy, you say Monica name, Reverend go, ting. We were at the hospital seeing Mother Solomon 
Mother Solomon going to get a, she was going to get a procedure. So me and Reverend, we over there at 6 o'clock in the morning, way out in the middle of nowhere, laying to see Mother Solomon. And so, you know, after we prayed and stuff. I said, well, Reverend, I got an appointment. I said, I'm going to get back to my appointment because I'm thinking, like, Reverend going to stay there through the surgery. Reverend said, Pastor, I'm home alone. I got to go. You, you've been around Reverend a long time. You know that, what that look is. One time he had that look, it was the king. The next time he had that look, it was Sherry. The last time he had that look, it was Erica. Come on, say amen, somebody. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Mike looked down like, y'all don't know about that look. Come on, say amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The FedEx truck did not deliver them. It wasn't a start. <laughs> Reverend did that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. <laughs> amen. So, look at this. Look at this. Adam stayed busy. As a single person... Just think about, when we get into all these crazy situations, if we be honest, we weren't single for the Lord. My role in my single season is to be busy for the Lord. How do I not have time to study the Bible? How do I have not time to go and pray? How do I have time not to go evangelize? Because if I'm in my position, then the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom. All of this, right? All other things shall be added. So God say, if you take care of my business, I will take care of your business. If you're seeking the kingdom, I'm going to be adding your man. I'm going to be adding your woman, but I'm going to be adding the person that I have for you, and you ain't got to clean them up, put no extra deodorant on them, wash them three times a day or none of that, because if you wait, if you wait till God does it, all you got to do is enjoy being loved. And let's just be honest. Most of us, when we are in our single season, we all over the place, and that's why instead of a miracle, we got a mess. Come on. I'm trying to help somebody. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. Where's Kyla at? Is Kyla here? Okay, yeah. Kyla scared, Kyla scared me. Kyla came down the hall last week. She said, Pastor, are you going to be teaching on that relationship next Sunday too? I said, yeah. She said, I need to be there. I said, why you need to be there? Come on, say amen to somebody. <laughs> so April, keep your eyes extra open, girl. Keep your eyes extra open. She said, well, you, know, my, you need to be there. You just turned 14, girl, a one and a four. You fresh four. Fresh one four. Amen, amen. So, 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 so. Law said not good, and then uh, 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 after that, after he named everybody, everybody had somebody after their own kind. So in verse 20, but after that, he's still busy. After that, Adam, there was nobody found to be in help me for him. So then God presents the process of presentation and provision. He begins the process so verse 21, we have the first surgery. We have the first incision. We have the first rib removal. And we have the first stitches. I love being a playwright. I'm trying to keep it real for you. We talking about cut them open, pull it out, the rib, the prime rib, ladies. Y'all the prime rib. Then he sewed them back up with stitches. Verse 22, he takes the rib that he had removed. He made Eve, he brought and presented her to Adam. Single sisters, God brought and presented Eve to Adam. Eve did not present herself. See, when God presents you, he presents you in order. He presents you in the perfect position. And so God presented, and that's what happened, because a lot of times when we present ourselves, we present with see-through packaging. So a lot of times self-presentation uh, is, is, is started with a pre-presentation, representation at Victoria's Secrets or Fredericks of Hollywood. Oh, come on, don't, don't come on say it, man, somebody. Some of y'all got some tags in your closet right now. I wish I had some help right now. Come on, say it. Everybody here ain't got cotton pajamas and onesies. Come on, I wish I had some real folk. Uh, a lot of folk wouldn't be here with onesies. I wish I had some help up in here. Y'all ain't going to help me today. Y'all don't know. Let me get shy on me. Come on, say amen, somebody. Well, y'all, we're we going to be real, but we're going to be in the world. Say amen, somebody. And so, and I want y'all, I want y'all to look at this. Verse 23, Adam's response. Bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Catch this. She shall be called woman. Woman is interchangeable with wife. 
She never called woman because she was taken out of man. In Genesis 1.27, he created the spirit of man and woman. In Genesis 2, he, he makes Eve from a rib from Adam. So when you allow God to send you your soulmate, he ultimately came out of your spirit. Come on, say amen, somebody. That, that's why when you wait on God, your man knows you're his. He just walk up and like, ooh, because it's a little bell that goes on. Because you've been busy for the Lord, so now you've been busy for the Lord, you got a bell that goes on. And so now when you walk out, you didn't even know she was there, but when you walk off, ding, 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 ding. Y'all ever went for a dress at the store? You didn't know what kind of dress you wanted, what, but when you saw it, you know that was it. Because in your spirit came out of you what you really want, even though you couldn't describe it. Y'all ain't gonna help. I'm trying to help somebody. And the same thing happens spiritually and supernaturally. Your mate, if you wait on God, if you wait on your soul mate, they would not have to be trained like a dog, like Steve say, because they will already know because you came out of them, the man that findeth them. <sighs> and and then some of y'all say, well, how you know that that was the first marriage? Verse 25, they were both naked, the man and his, not his significant other, not his side chick. Come on, preach, pastor. Not his uh, 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 self-appointed booth thing. Not his special friend with benefits. Come on, say amen, somebody. No. He says... They were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. So back that thing up. They were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. So you shouldn't be naked. Is this helping anybody? This is a benefit for married folk. The man and his wife. You, say, you just got married. All right, I ain't never heard him make that much noise on no sermon. Say amen, somebody. He said, the man and his wife. And they were not child right there. He could child better high five. They were not ashamed. Sophie looked over there at him and boy, they both like, yeah, I know that's right, boy, you know. But it's all right there the way that it is supposed to happen. And then look at it after that. What's the next verse, Sean? After that, look how Adam proclaims him. Go to the next verse, Sean. Oh. And with another 20, man shall leave his father and his mother and shall, give me 23. Because I want, I want to point this up. Yeah. Now, after Eve is presented, look at what Adam does. Adam said this. It's now. He said this. Now, I ain't going to teach that, but we go to chapter 3 after the fall, and they had got cold busted, and God blamed God. He said, he said, that woman and Eve. Did you ever know that? He said, that woman you gave me. So God blamed, Adam blamed God and the woman. That woman you gave me. Now, that's after sin. After sin, it's that girl. Before sin, this is now. Did y'all catch that? Before sin, this. First of all, he wants to identify. He wants to let you know, this me right here, dog. This me right here. This is after sin. That girl, because if you hadn't gave me Shaniqua, I wouldn't be in this mess. I was cool naming Adam. animals. I wasn't even through yet. Come on, say amen, somebody. So, 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 that, yeah, I said, when you read the word, it's all there. You just read it. A lot of times we go through these scriptures, we go all over. Now, look at how, look, he shows you how to love her. He said, this is bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman in the chamber of wife because she was taken out of man. So in other words, he said when you see her, you should see bone. You should see into her for you see what's on her. I'm just, that's the process. When he sees you, intimacy ain't nothing deep and sexual. It means how far are you willing to see into me? So when you first see from God's eyesight, you should see her heart because only man gets excited. You know, boy, I tell you, I know sometimes no sisters in here, but some sisters, they ain't going to never be on time or nothing because they got to be perfect exterior. And the Bible says only God looks at, God looks at the heart. Only man looks at the outward appearance. What makes you late for church on Sunday if you're late? Is it because somebody at home looking at your heart? Or is it because of that outward appearance that man look? Come on, say it, man, somebody. 